so here it is another sunny Sunday morning gentle jog out on the Gixis is that what they're calling them now Gixis uh, Gixis 750 yeah I'd uh, two days of hard work at work if you didn't know I run a, a fragging machine at a scrapyard and uh, so all these lovely vehicles here I put through my magic machine and they come out in bits about that big oh tunnel fun listen carefully <laughs> Oh, there's nothing quite like a quiet standard exhaust. Yeah, so uh, as, I say, as I was saying, um, I run this fragging machine and um, I do the maintenance on it as well. And as you can imagine, the bits and pieces that come off it are rather large. Um, I had to change the bottom grid, which is about nine sections, and each section is about three quarters of a ton. Um, and the lower wear plates, which are two inch thick hard ox plates, which again are, are what is there, eight of them. And they're probably 100 to 150 kilos each. And um, each one of them has got four to five bolts holding it in. And you use a 26 kilogram air gun to do them up with. So, yeah, very tiring couple of days being that the, the most I usually do is sit up in the control cabin and watch the... Uh, watch the figures, watch the temperatures and speeds and all the rest of it make adjustments if necessary and operate about two buttons to actually get the scrap to go through the machine um, and then I spend my afternoons in the crane feeding the machine while my partner in crime is up in the cabin so as you can tell not the most physical of things sat on my ass pretty much all day long and then every so often you get this these worn out parts that need replacing and as I say this was a little bit of a bigger operation you have to take the uh, main rotor out and everything to access the parts so um, as I say two days of of heavy work heavy lifting and everything which when you've had a few months of not doing much at all really knackers me out so as I say, a bit of a subdued ride today. Um, back's a bit painful. Arms are painful. Oh, I'm so old. I'm so old and decrepit and broken. Oh, that was a bump and a half. <laughs> a bit of a testicle slap there. Um, yeah, old and broken and fragile and then go and do two days of, of hard work. Ridiculous carry on, but the money's good and it enables me to buy toys. I like toys. So there you go, that's, uh, that's what I've been doing. And then this morning, um, got a rush back, I'll be back by about 11 to FaceTime my daughter in Australia. And then I'm out having a roast dinner with my middle brother Bob who is off to Las Vegas next week to get married um, so yeah he's away for a couple of weeks so it's like a um, farewell do or fuck off do more of a fuck off do fuck off and good riddance one of them do's 
so yeah it's a uh, bit of a busy day as well so I thought I'd just have a casual ride out I did have a bit of a play on the 750 yesterday morning um, and I shouldn't have done because <laughs> I was aching like a bastard yesterday morning first morning after the work um, and being it's more sports orientated the suspension's a little bit harder so uh, yeah the body didn't appreciate all the jolting and jolt jolting jolt juddering jolts and judders up through my spine so uh, yeah probably wrong bike to take out got a couple of little jobs done on the v-strom yesterday that i wanted to do because hopefully i'm up the peak district next weekend weather dependent uh wife's going off to jerby isle of man um she works for wemoto so it's a, a works outing <laughs> like there's going to be much work done um so if you haven't bought one yet get on wemoto's site and buy one of their jerby t-shirts um which all funds go to sponsoring the air ambulance the helicopters that uh, lift you to saving your life hopefully it's your right of way your penis it's not your right of way just for your penis it's car and all yeah so she's off doing that um, goes on the Friday back on the Monday late um, so I'm hoping the weather's going to be good to get up around the Peak District area and if it's rough up there because it's always rough up north always rough we get it nice in the south we get it nice look at this duck um, yeah if it's nice I'd like to get up around the Peak District if it's not nice this is Shoreham Airport by the way if you don't know where I am old biplane there let's have a Yeah, so as I say, it's always, uh, weather's always a lot worse up north than it is down south. Well, not always, but 99.999% of the time. So if the weather is shit around the Peak District, then um, hopefully it's nicer down on the south coast. And I'll go along Dorset Way, Dorset Cornwall Way, head out to Falmouth or somewhere. Because the coastline... I mean, oh, I love the old water features. So the coastline is just glorious along Dorset Way. Lulworth Cove, there you go. Just sprang to mind. Lulworth Cove, go to Lulworth Cove. You'll love it. You will absolutely love it. You'll easily get parked on a motorbike. It's a lovely trip down there, wherever you're coming from. It's a lovely, well, unless you're coming from Lulworth Cove. Then it's not much of a fucking trip at all, and there, there's me swearing again. Stop it! Oh, I will try. Um, yeah, it, it's a lovely trip down there because it is. That was good, mate. Twat. Um, yeah, it's uh, lovely roads around that area. Um, well worth going down there, and if you get a nice day, you're going to have a good stay. Nice day, good stay got plenty of eateries there whether you want to wander around stuff in your face or sit down and stuff your face and um, it's just a beautiful place um, and if you've got a bit of time pop over to Doodle Door, Doodle Door which is a rock formation which is five or ten minutes from Lulworth Cove um, ideal so yeah there you go that's um, hopefully some plans for next weekend obviously it being a bank holiday weather, uh, bank holiday weekend, 
and this being Britain, <laughs> we'll piss down. <laughs>